All right, everyone, we've been celebrating women all month long for Women's History Month, and we continue this morning with an exclusive television interview with actress Tia Mari. She explains how her struggles and memorable moments in motherhood gave her a new purpose to encourage other women to stand in their power. Being a woman in this world, if I'm very honest with you, it, it's, it's hard, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I feel like when you have a built-in community of women who are going through the same thing, um, and when you hear their stories of how it wasn't easy, how you had to start from the bottom and, and work your way up, I'm hoping that people can see themselves in those stories and say, wow, you know what I mean? If if she can do it, then I can do it too. Yeah, absolutely. And when you're talking about women empowerment, how did you get, I don't want to say involved in the idea uh -huh. of being like a speaker, yeah. being a motivator? Where did that come from? Was it your own personal struggles or challenges? Yes, definitely. I found that I really needed some sort of community and being around women that were going through what I was going through was when I had my first child, mm -hmm. Cree. And he's eight years old now, but you know, I'm a working mom. I now have this child. How in the world do I navigate through this new world? I would just kind of, you know, communicate with other women and, and, and what, you know, um, they were going through or, or how do you do it? Mm -hmm. I started to lean on people and a community that I didn't even know. And I was like, this is powerful. So I wanna be that beacon of light. And so you waited a couple years to have yes. your second child. I did. What was going through your mind during that time? Well, for me, um, I've always had issues with fertility. I have a condition called endometriosis, um, which causes infertility. That was one factor. Another one is, yes, work. You know what I mean? And, and my husband, Corey, he's an actor, so he's always filming. Yeah. He always tends to get films overseas, like in oh. Budapest somewhere, and I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm gonna be taking care of these kids all by myself. So that was another yeah. component. Yeah. Um, but you know what? I said, I need to, life is short. And I wanted to touch a little bit more on that work yeah. life balance but I saw okay. in some interviews you were yeah. like I get asked that all oh, the time yeah. and men don't yes right? I feel like a lot of society puts a lot of pressure on women to feel like we have to do it all or we have to balance it all and what that insinuates to me is that you take care of everything you take care of the baby do you get mm -hmm. what I'm yeah. saying yeah that question to me that it feels like a loaded question like that whereas i personally feel that when you have a child the responsibility is on both if you have goals if you have dreams if you have aspirations it doesn't mean just because you have a child it doesn't mean that you have to give up on all of that yeah, do you know what absolutely. i mean i i feel like there's so much more that women can give to this to this world